Science is fun. Press start. Hey guys, Dan here, and welcome back to Crazy Craft, where today I have been pretty busy. Now, have you guys ever tried to build a good path in Minecraft before? No? Well, it actually takes quite a long time. Too long, in fact. <laughs> but yes, that does mean I built my very own path. Check it out. I made it out of... Oh, jeez. Wait, wait, wait. I need to get this guy out of here. Just go away, please. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. You have 696 health. What is wrong with you? Jeez, and Treyarch is farting his life away still. Still farting his life away. Shush! I'm trying to explain something awesome. Right, so let's get down to my path that I built. Oh my goodness, there's another one? Really? No! No, Treyarch, I'm so sorry! What's going on? There's, there's, there's little ants hitting me as well. Get off, get off, get off, get off, get off, Treyarch. I'm gonna save you, buddy. I'm gonna save you. I'm gonna hit him with my pickaxe. What is going on? Go away. Jeez, all of these red ants. Go away. You made me chop down some of my grass. I put that there on purpose. Anyway, my pathway. So basically, <laughs> I've been trying to make my place look that little bit better because it's not looking the greatest recently, to be honest. So I put a path in. I put a very magical path in because it's going to lead to the place that we made last time, which was really awesome. So let's head down here. Look. <gasps> no way. Check this out. Oh my goodness, look! The duplicator tree has definitely, has definitely redeemed itself. Look at this! This started from one iron and one piece of diamond. Oh my goodness, give me all of this iron. Look how incredible this is. So remember, each of these iron blocks is worth so much in our equivalent exchange table, which we built last time, and I've done some improvements to the room as well. So, this is gonna be so, so helpful. You know what? Just give me some more iron. Give me more. Give me more. What's his energy exchange? 2304. Let's try and get some diamond up in here this time. Let's put it there. Nope, 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 nope. You stay away from me. Yeah, let's see if diamonds work this time. Because we've just gained ourselves 23 blocks of iron. Which is absolutely insane. Times that by 9. And we have a lot of exchange value. And it's going to be... It's just duplicating. So it's pretty much infinite. Which we made in the last episode. So, my path leads all the way down here. I've just kind of kept it here. Because I don't know how I'm going to expand it just yet. We've got a little bit here for Treoris' crown. Which apparently is Treoris' crown now. Because, um... Yeah, the prince didn't want to use it, and it's a, it's a little fart crown. So as soon as I open this, gas is going to spill out everywhere, and it's going to be awful. But we'll just leave him to it for now, and hopefully, I really hope this, um, this duplicates, because that's got a much higher value than iron. But at least we know iron works, because that is awesome. So, let's continue following our path around. I've also added some stepping stones here, because I will like to cut across, and it's just a safer way to cut across without having to swim. So I put those in. Look at all these ants. I fixed this, which is something that was broken for way too long. And if we follow this all the way down here, there'll be some eggs that have spilled out, which isn't good. And we're almost filling up two chests now, which is absolutely insane. We're going to have to add another hopper below this chest, into another obsidian chest, which is going to be absolutely nuts. But anyway, welcome to my equivalent exchange room. Are you ready? It is beautiful. It is fantastic. Open sesame. Look at this. Look how cool this is. We've got these awesome sliding Japanese style doors, which you can kind of see through. So you can see the hopper in the background and the rabbit in there. How cool is that? I thought that was really good for the mood and it matches this blood red stone brick that I've got and I layered the walls with bookshelves because it's kind of a researching room we've got the tome going on and all that good stuff so I just thought you know what where is where is my tome it's in here I thought you know what that looks perfect and I think it looks magical mysterious and pretty phenomenal if I don't say so myself I think it looks awesome what do you guys think I hope you think it looks cool as well I've added some glowstone down here um I had to keep this glowstone here because that's the um the floor to my house and speaking of the floor of my house Something weird went down while I was away. I was making sure everything fit perfectly. Then I went in. Oh, look, it's duplicated already. Yes, this is perfect. But anyway, I'm getting distracted. <laughs> I went in to sleep and check it out. Chest first, button second. Did you guys do this? Did you guys do this? No? None of you? Don't worry. I'll get you guys your own little house soon. I promise. I promise. Yeah, I found this, which I thought was um, a little bit worrying because I did the most recent prank. So 
I hope this isn't a re-prank or a prank revenge. But hey, we're going to check this out today because it's not what I had in mind today. But I think we should go ahead anyway. Actually, can we put some of this stuff away? Oh, man, there's not enough room. Let's get rid of some of this chalk because I don't need it anymore. Let's get rid of some woods, some ash. Oh, jeez, there's, there's not enough room. Okay, chest first, button second. This says, science is fun by thanks, see ya, also known as James. Now, he's given us an orange leather tunic. Orange leather pants and some long fall boots. I'm a little bit worried about this. Right, let's read the book and see what James has to say. Greetings. Wow, it must be your lucky day. We at Team Blocket Science Incorporated would like to invite you for a fun and action-packed science day out. All expenses paid. If you love science, even half as much as we do, then we are sure you will have an awesome time. When you're ready, simply click the button and whoosh! The adventure will begin. Please wear the lovely testing clothes provided. And just before you try anything sneaky, please leave any weapons, tools, and gadgets behind in the chest provided. And yes, that means any flying type pets too. All you will need is the very fashionable clothing and maybe bring some food if you get hungry easily. We look forward to seeing you soon. Science is fun um okay um i need to wear these clothes so let's keep these in my inventory but everything else has to go away so give me give me two seconds guys maybe two minutes maybe half an hour and i'll get all this stuff out of here and then we're gonna go on a random science trip i don't know what's going on and oakwood planks okay there's enough room there's actually a perfect amount of room for my armor as well so everything's in this chest we need to put on this stuff here look at these Oh my goodness, look at those boots. Those look awesome. They don't really give me much protection, but I've got um, some steak and this science is fun book. Right, guys, are you ready? Because I'm not. Let's do this in three, two, one, boom. Oh my goodness. Um, okay, I'm in a prison cell. Fantastic. And there's a fancy lantern. Look how beautiful it is, guys. Look how beautiful it is. Right, wakey, wakey. Science is fun. Let's do science for fun. Smiley face with about 20 mouths. Okay, this is already freaking me out. It's very clinical in here. Is this is this a shower? It looks nice. It kind of looks like um, we're in solitary confinement or something. You know what? Just one second. One second. I just need to... Yeah, yeah, I'm done. I'm done. There we go. Right. Let's get out of here and see what happens. Right. Greetings, test subject. Grab a gun. It's really fun. This way, don't let me down. Okay, so we've got some portal guns up in here. Let's grab this real quick. I need to make one of these. This is awesome. It's one of those, um, it's a, uh, it's a portal gun stand. And it's very, very cool indeed. So we need to make one of those for our base when we expand it a little bit. But for now, let's see what's going on here. Remember, guys, science is fun. Apparently, these guns are really fun as well. So, um, let's do a, let's do a blue over here. And then an orange here. I think this is how it's going to work. Right, let's see what happens. Boom. Did we make it? I think we made it. I don't know how to reset these. Um, I guess I'll just leave them there for now. So we made it to the other side. This says, let the testing begin. Testing is fun. Testing is fun. Testing is fun. Testing is fun. This is so creepy. Oh, look, it says number one. Okay, this is strange. Right. Um. Oh, wait a second. Are we stuck in here? What's going on? Are we supposed to go through here? Oh, did my vision go weird then? This is strange, guys. This is so strange. How do I get through? Oh, oh, I see. Okay, right. Let's do um, one here and then one up here and then we should make it. Nice. We're good at this, guys. We're good at this. Please don't do this to me. No parkour, right? We can at least cheat this parkour. Let's go um, blue here and orange, I guess, around this corner. Oh, wait. Did that work? Did that work? I think that worked. Okay, let's go through the blue. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> if only I had a portal gun on me at all times in every Minecraft map, then um, parkour wouldn't be a problem. Right, um, this next bit of science looks a little bit scary. So we're going to do um, a blue one. No, an orange one over there. A blue one here. And there we go. This is like some kind of crazy portal map. This is awesome. This is crazy. And, th and always remember, science is fun. Right, we need to put one down there. There we go. Walk through this. And we haven't burnt ourselves yet. This is going well. Right. Um, should I pull this? Okay. Um, where did we just come from? I think we came from up here on the other side. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. But, um, yeah, there's nothing up there. I don't think there is. Anyway, let's go through here and see what happens. There's a chest. 
It says, introducing the gravity gun. Use right click only to pick up and place down testing cubes. Okay. Okay, this seems awesome. I don't think you're supposed to be here, Mr. Zombie. I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to be here. And I have no weapons. I have no weapons whatsoever. What's he doing? Oh, he's trying to find this guy up here. Okay, I'm just going to leave him to it and just, uh, just keep him there while I pick up these cubes. Wait, what does this pressure plate do? Let's see. What does it do? Uh, it opens that. Okay. Um, oh, do I have to put the zombie on it? Maybe? I don't know. Let's see what happens if we put the zombie on it. Because I think, yeah, we can pick up this zombie. Look. <laughs> Hey, little zombie punk. I got you. I got you now. Can I put him on here? I think I can. Yes. Go, go, go. No. Okay. He's, he's got... Oh, jeez. No, 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 no. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Oh, it's those. These cubes up here. Right, let's grab this and then put it... Come here. Come here. There we go. I was a little bit distracted by the zombie. I think the zombie would work, but I'm not 100% sure. Oh, there's two. There's actually two. Right, where is the other cube? Hello? Is the other cube up there? Can we use the portal gun to get up there? Let's have a look. Let's go for, um... Let's do a blue here and an orange up here. Let's go there. Did that work? I don't think that worked. Right, let's try and hit it. Yeah, there we go. Let's see if this works. Beautiful! <laughs> this is actually really cool. Right, let's grab this cube and then back it up. No! Did I just... Okay, I have no idea what just happened. I thought I, I thought I put it through the portal, but we should be able to drop this on here. And there we go. Science is fun. Science is fun. This is crazy. I almost forgot I was playing Crazy Craft for a second. Right, what's this? This is room number three. What's this though? Oh! Oh my goodness, I need one of those. I 100% need one of those. My goodness, watch this, look. It literally flies me across the, the land. This is awesome. This is so cool. Right, um, I am not gonna risk this. I'm gonna go ahead and use my portal gun. So let's do this. A blue here. An orange over here. And we're done. <laughs> James is so good at making these things. They're awesome. Right, congrats, test subject. You are so good at science. We didn't think you'd make it this far. It would only be right to reward you with lovely cake. Yes! Is this the cake or are these... What is that? They look... They look like, um, like balls of dough. That's strange. That's very, very strange. But, um, anyway, play me for good times. Oh, yes, let's grab one of these. Let's put this in here. This was a triumph. Yeah. I'm making a note here. Oh, that's, that, that sounds so cool. Right. Cake for me. No. Oh, no, guys. Guys, we're playing Portal. We're playing Portal the cake. The cake is a lie! And now this music is playing. Look, it says lie. Whoa! I've just been killed by my very own prank. Am I back at home now? I think I'm back at home. That was awesome, but terrifying as well. Right, I am going to sleep real quick. <laughs> What just happened? Science is fun, guys. Science is fun, but it looks like we got ourselves a gravity gun. I think I already had one, and we've gained another portal gun as well. That was, um, that was interesting. I didn't expect to do that today, but that was cool. <laughs> that was really cool. So, yeah, um, that was, that was, no, get away from me. What are you doing? Why have you got explosive arrows? No, no, stop that. Who was that guy? <laughs> They don't call it crazy crap for nothing, guys. Um, and this is still waiting on its second duplication, but still, that is awesome. Anyway, that was awesome. James, thank you. That was a really cool adventure. That must have taken ages to put together, but we need to do some science of our own today. It should give us a little bit of time before the end of the episode to be able to do this. What is that? Oh, it's ice. Okay. <laughs> I was a little bit confused. So yeah, what I was planning to do originally was build something called a coke oven, which is what we're going to need to be able to build rail tracks in this mod pack because you don't build them in the normal way. You need creosote oil, you need a coke oven, you need bricks, sand, 
crazy amounts of stuff. So I've got the wiki up here. We need 104 clay and 130 sand to be able to do this. Now I've got 44 clay here, but um, I don't have much sand. Now this is where equivalent exchange is going to come in perfectly because I'm going to research these two so that I can go ahead and make myself a coke oven without having to go out and mine all the resources. And this is where you'll see the power of our equivalent exchange room. So let's have a quick look through here. We've got our sand and we've got our clay. So let's grab one of these and one of these. And we need space for our tome as well because we need to research this stuff real, real quick. So let's head into our brand new room, which I am actually so proud of. Let's close the door behind us because we're doing some pretty questionable stuff. And let's grab our tome of alchemical, I can't even say it, alchemical knowledge, pop it on the research station and pop in one piece of clay so that we can research that so we can actually make it in lots and lots of amounts. And how many do we need? 104 clay, 130 sand to build these things called coke bricks. Then we put them together to make our awesome coke oven. So here we go. That should be researched now. And now we're going to research sand as well. And these are going to have really, really low amounts of energy. So what we're going to be able to do is trade stuff that's got high energy, like diamonds and iron, for cheap stuff like this a massive bulk, which is the whole idea of having this room. So let's grab this. Now those two should be researched, but um, oh, that's the bookcase. These should be researched. So the exchange energy for one clay is 64 and for sand, it's just one. So we can literally trade one for one dirt for sand. So we need 120. Right. Um, Let's see how many of these one iron ingot will get. Where do I put this in here? There we go. So how many sand can we get out of this? I'm going to say we can... Oh, I wasn't meant to do that. I've got a lot of sand. But you know what? It's kind of good that we've created more because we can then stick this back in and it doesn't really matter. It's going to count towards our next thing. So how much sand do we need? 130. So we've got 60. We definitely got 130. So let's put that in there. Let's put one iron in there. Now, how much clay can we get from this? Um, let's see how much we get if we shift and click. We need 104. Boom. We got 49. That's um, that's terrible. That's terrible. We need about 50. We need about 60 more. How much if we just throw in all this iron? Let's see. 64, 70, we're, we're very, very close. We need a little bit more iron, or we could maybe trade in one diamond. Um, hello, hello egg, how are you doing? <laughs> but do you see how this works? It's so, so efficient, it really is, because what we can do is just trade all our stuff that we maybe don't need, but we do kind of need it, but we can just, we can just create it infinitely thanks to our duplicator tree, which is awesome. I'm back. I'm back with some iron. So let me put this back. We're doing some crazy magic. And let's put some iron in here. How much can we grab from that? We've got 90. We've got 100. And we've got more than 104, haven't we? We've got 90. We've got 101? Maybe? We actually have 101. We just need four more clay. So what else has a high energy value? A golden apple has tons. Tons of value. How about... Oh, I need one more iron. Why? And you know what? While we're here, we should just start smelting these bricks because we need this clay to turn into bricks anyway. So let's do this. Um, we haven't got much in there. I haven't got any in there. Where is all my coal? I think it's all doing my alchemical stuff. Ah, I said it right that time. <laughs> we just need to grab one more piece of iron. And then, let's grab two, just in case. And then we should be able to have enough clay to make all the bricks to make our coke oven. And we should have enough sand as well. This, this is so good. Okay, we are almost done here. I have no idea where this glass came from, so that can stay there. <laughs> We're almost done. We have got bricks. We have got bricks. We have got so many bricks. We've got four left in here and five left in here. So let's try building some of this stuff, shall we? We are going to need some coke bricks. So let's have a look here, shall we? Coke bricks. Some of these. So we need a three by three by three, which is three times three, which is 20. 
24. I think we need 24. 26. We need 26. Okay, let's have a look at this. So the way you craft it, it's five sand and then four bricks. So let's go ahead and just paint in some sand real quick. That was terrible. That was terrible, but it should work. There we go. And then we need to grab some bricks. Do half and then do half here as well. And here are our Coke oven bricks. Now we've got 12. That's pretty good, but we need way more than that. So let's try and put some more in. Let's add these together, do those. And let's see how many we can get out of this batch. Uh, boom, 22. How many do we need? 26. It needs to be absolutely solid. Um, right, we've got Coke oven brick. Okay, I'm just checking that we're doing this right, because this, this is a lot of resources, and I just hope that we're doing it correctly. So we've got all these bricks real quick. Um, let's do that, 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 and that, and then... This isn't an even number, so I hope this goes well. We might need two more bricks. We need two more bricks. Really? Oh, no, we don't. No, we don't. No, we don't. Okay, I was scared then. I was really, really scared. We got 26. Okay, we did it. We did it, guys. We had an uneven amount, obviously, because we just went and equivalent exchanged them all. But we weren't too far off. Right, now we've got these Coke oven bricks. All we need to do is put them in a 3x3 three three oven. Now, we need to decide where on earth we want this to go because the idea is we're going to have like one central chest in the middle of our coffee cup and then um, all the minecarts are going to run underneath the ground and then come out above the ground at some point. But we need to make this coke oven real quick and I think I want to put it behind the coffee cup. I think over here will be perfect. We just need to clear this path a little bit just so we can put it down properly. And I don't think we need it elevated or anything, but um, we should be fine. We should be fine. Right, we need three by three by three. So let's put it here. Let's go one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, and three. And then we should be able to make it like this. Let's see if this works. I hope this works, guys. I really hope this works, because otherwise I've embarrassed myself, but it should be fine. Here we go. Let's try it. So one, two, three. It said 26. Why have I got two extra oh well I, i'm not complaining go with one two three wait what i'm missing one um i think i put it down wrong i think i need to put this one up here okay um it definitely said 26 we definitely had 26 right okay i think we need one more brick it definitely said 26 maybe i've just lost someone maybe i'm just being very very strange but i've got one more let me sleep real quick so we don't get monsters jumping all over our new coke oven but uh, this is it seems kind of a boring thing to do but trust me it is going to be worth it so we've got sand where did my piece of sand go oh no wait it's fine and then we got this and that's one more coke oven brick. Now we should be good to do this. And this is where my stepping stones come in perfectly. If I could do it properly. <laughs> I need to make a path that now goes to the right hand side. But let's see if it was one more brick that we needed. Boom. Uh, uh, do I need a furnace in here? It's definitely built up. I definitely built it up. This is, this is a three by three by three of coke brick. This is why I don't do technical things. I'm terrible at them. Right, okay, so what I need to do is grab this and this, and we need to leave the center block open. So I didn't need a last one, and there we go, look! We just needed that to change to that, and we have done it. So let's open this. We need fuel, we need a bucket, and we need something else. So let's quickly grab some coal, and hopefully this has worked perfectly. I will need a bucket as well, but I think I've got one of those maybe in here. I have a bucket somewhere. I've got another diamond block in here, actually. I didn't realize I had one of those. Where are my buckets at? That's a dirty mug. That could do the job, but I'm not too sure. Here are my buckets. Uh, let's just grab one of those for now. We also need fuel, so let's grab the nine coal for now. Now, what this is going to do is it's going to... I think it changes coal into stuff called coke but we don't need that we need the creosote oil that comes from that because that's what we need to make the rail so let's see what happens let's right click it let's put a bucket where it's supposed to be let's put some coal in and oh oh it's working it's actually working this is cool so the thing is it does take one and a half minutes for one piece of coal to change into what we need it to and then I think this is what it changes into. Yeah, look, cold coke. That's perfect. That's perfect. And then it'll have a byproduct of creosote oil, which is what we need to make rails. So let me wait for this and see if it actually works. Here we go. Here we go. It's so close. 
Yeah, we did it. We did it, but no. Oh, look, 500 creosote oil was created. Now, can we download this creosote oil? I think we can, but I'm not 100% sure how at the moment. But at least we know that is working, and the creosote oil is going into the oven. So what we're going to do now is end the episode and wait for this to do its thing. I'm just going to shove a lot more coal in there just so we get as much creosote oil as possible. And then we can start duplicating even more iron, even though we don't quite need it right now. And then um, be able to make some tracks and make these most epic, the most epic rail system you have ever seen in your life. Because Railcraft, I mentioned it in the last episode, but it allows you to go vertical with, um, with carts, which is absolutely insane with mine carts. And oh, look at this. That is so cool. You can go vertical. You can do so much stuff with minecarts, which blows your mind. And then we'll finally have a sorting system that works. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. It's a little bit random with James' little adventure in there, but I hope you enjoyed it regardless. This might have been a bit boring. I'm sorry. Or you learned a bit. I really hope you did. But it will be worth it in the end because we'll be making awesome minecart rails. Which will be perfect. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please leave a big fat thumbs up. That would be greatly appreciated. And if this happens to be the first video you've seen by me, please do consider subscribing to join Team TDM today for daily gameplay videos. Apart from that, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing day, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye!